Hey guys, uh, tonight it's real moist and everything outside, so we thought it'd be a really good day to come out and look for some gray tree frogs, because day nights like this, they're just crawling all over the place. You find them all over, I'm not kidding. You'll find them on trees, of course they're tree frogs, you'll find them on, on metal flat surfaces like barns, sheds, even doors. You'll find them a lot around. So tonight's a really good night for them, so I, we thought we'd come out and show you this species of amphibian. Hey guys, we've got two gray tree frogs right here. One of them has this bright green color on it, and the other one's more brown. They both have this really, really cool yellow on their legs. It's really cool. See, they both have it. So these are both gray tree frogs. They've got these big puffy eyes and they're really, really cool. These things eat mainly bugs. They have been found eating pinky rats. But, yeah, these are really, really cool animals, guys. These are really fun to find. They'll climb on walls and all over cool stuff. They're great, great frogs. These are my favorite species of frogs that live around in Indiana. They're my absolute favorite frog. Because they're so cool. They hang, you find them hanging around on, on barns or on trees or whatever. And they're just such cool animals. So, yeah. These are, uh, pretty much full grown. This is the average size. This is what you usually find them in. About this size. So, yeah, they're really cool. We'll show you guys in lighter area a little bit later then. Hey guys, we came up on my front porch to, uh, for more light to show you guys what these, what the markings on the frog are. Let's see, it looks like there's an H right there two lines and a middle one and then there's two dots down here and two dots up by their eyes that's like full markings right there that's perfect it look that's a great looking tree frog and then look at its legs it's just great yellow it's red really a really really cool frog yeah so I really like these things I'm I don't want to take them out of their natural environment you know you get I always but just to let you know I never keep animals for more than a week I always end up letting it go right where I found it and sometimes I've when I catch them they usually, they like secrete this sticky stuff on me, and it smells like grass that it's just been rained on. It's weird. I think it might be like a defense mechanism, like the slimy salamander gives out the white sticky gluey stuff. Yeah, but it's like slug slime when it gives it out. But it's really cool. such an awesome frog. I love these. They're really, really cool. I use at the end of my finger. Yeah, so in Indiana, these are pretty common. I'm pretty sure this is the, it's the coat and gray tree frog. I'm not so sure that, and it also has a release call. Oh, look, might do it right now. But yeah, this guy's great. I'm really happy that we could find these because I thought it would be a good night for him and 
I took the chance. I went out, tried to find them, and ended up hitting the jackpot. We ended up catching four tonight. So, yeah, we did pretty good.